Hey, have you ever come across circular imports in Python? First of all, how does it occur? It usually happens when two or more modules, mutually depending on each other, try to import before fully loading. Confused? Let's say we have two modules, module 1 and module 2. In this example, the initialization of object in module 1 depends on module 2, and object in module 2 depends on module 1. This is a circular dependency since both modules attempt to load each other. When I execute either, we get this traceback. So, how can we avoid this mess? We can move the code into a common file, like this. This will break the import cycle. However, there is a problem with this approach. Sometimes the code base is so large that it becomes risky to move the code into another file. We can shift the import statement at the end of the module. This will give time to fully initialize the module before importing another module. Importing modules within the class or function scope like this can avoid circular imports. This will allow the module to be imported only when the class is invoked. Using the module name, or just an alias like this, solves the problem. This allows both modules to load fully by deferring circular dependency until runtime. Let's talk about a common problem in Python. In complex projects, circular dependencies come from modules within the same package. Here's an example. Here we have a package and a main file. This package contains two sub-packages, and here's what each module looks like. Here module 1 imports a class from module 2, whereas module 1 1 imports nothing. And the init file imports classes from both modules. And here module 2 imports a class from module 1 1, and the init file imports a class from module 2. The main file here imports a class from module 2. Now, let's visualize the import cycle. The main file depends on module 2. Module 1 also depends on module 2, and module 2 depends on module 1 1. So, there's no cycle. But, you know, modules depend on their init file, so the package's init file initializes first, and that's where the problem lies. We get the error after running the main file because both packages' init files re-import the respective modules, so we get an import cycle here. By doing so, we made module 1.1 1, 1 depend on module 1, which is a fake dependency. If this is the case, empty the sub-packages init files, and using a separate init file can help by centralizing imports at the package level. This will allow internal modules to import from a single source, reducing the need for cross-imports. Now we can update the import statement in the main file and all set.